Hi everyone, so in this video we'll be speaking on how we installed SQL Server 2019 in Windows 11. So I'm sure many of you are facing the issue related to the 2019 is not working and any of the server SQL Server is not working in Windows 11. So here is the video you're looking for. So yes, so for the beginning, I'll be referring to the Microsoft provided solution to this. So this is the Microsoft uh, solution they have provided. I'll be pasting the link in the video description. So here, what is the issue they say is here. The SQL Server 2019 works with some, some file system configurations which are not present or which are higher actually in the windows 11 like here this is the resolution part but i will be showing the yes exactly if you write this command in your uh, command prompt with your uh, with your drive and you will be getting this is this is the default they wanted what sql server wanted where the physical byte sorry phys file system effective physical byte per second for atomicity it needed 4 kb and actually in in the windows 11 it is 16384 actually this they have provided but in my system it was differently here they are provided in the 16 kb is in the physical sector but for for me this 15, uh, 16 kb was here in this file system effective so uh, on that still I wasn't able to uh, download or install this data service this data database engine services were not in getting installed to fix that again I follow the same which is provided by when, uh, Microsoft so yes so let's start the uh, actual how do we implement to rectify this issue so coming firstly you have to open the registry editor so go to your search box in your system write down registry you will be finding it something like this registry editor run as administrator once you run as administrator you will be having a page uh, which looks very similar to this and here you have to open this H key underscore local machine and in this follow this path provided by this Microsoft document which is nothing but the system under system current control set under control set there are in services in services in services we will be moving into this folder S-T-O-R-N-V me in this parameter will be adding in devices will be adding one new file how do we add it as in the edit prompt you can go for a new and in new add a multi string value once you add a multi string value you will be give, uh, giving the name as this so you won't be finding this file in your current default uh, structure of the file structure in the default structure so here you won't be finding this this is a change i have made now and here instead this you have to re replace this new value slash hash one to this name and this is actually provided again by this microsoft document so you use take the copy this and you rename this file uh where did we go yeah what, what is happening yes so rename this file and after renaming just double click this file and give a value value data as this star space 4095 this is also provided again by again by the microsoft document i am i am deleting the same and you now you after doing that change the file would look like this once you're done with your changes, go to your command prompt and run this command from administrator and take copy this, copy this command and paste it and run it. Paste it and run it. And these two, if you are done with this two, I restarted my system. 
once the uh, system is restarted you again come and run the command full util info and sector this command is again here um, you can find this here so here it will be a C, a C drive or D drive wherever you are installing it so for me it is C drive so once you are done after resetting the system your configuration will look like this before I, I used to get this uh, atomicity uh, some 6 KB and here some other configuration now it is 4 KB and which is perfectly what SQL Server 2019 wants once you're done with this, I'm pretty sure you know the next process where you just have to go to the uh, Microsoft uh, official website where you download the SQL Server, any of your 2019 and 2022. Right now I have installed the SQL 2022 file and this is Express. I have, you know, here the next process, I will be uh, very, uh, in the fast forward, I'll be just speaking the overview from here and because uh, i guess you know the actual issue was with the uh, file system configuration which we already saw how do we do it so again i'll give an overview from here you just double click here and you will be prompted with a new window something like this once you're done you just open this new sql server standard installation once you uh, go to that uh, next the configurations you will be having all these installation steps features Database engine configuration, you will be uh, doing all this configuration. Once you are done, you will be successfully installing your database engine service in your Windows 11. Um, I would like to tell you one thing uh, which is very important before doing any change in this registry editor. Please, please, please import this. Import, go to your file, import, click on import and give a file path and restore whatever the registry editor is having in the default right now i have taken the i have taken this uh, backup of this registry but unfortunately i am not able to import it or else i would have clearly shown one by one line by line right now i am not able to take this backup of this registry which was default so again this will be a different video i'll take it to a different video if suppose i find a resolution to this how do we uh, recover back the registry so that i can be uh, in the safer head like i can go back to the previous registry as well so right now whatever configuration we have made for this adding this file and running those two commands will be so sufficient enough to run this sql server SQL Server and the installation of database engine service will be successful. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and if any questions you can uh, write down in the comments as well as if you have any other further solutions or better solution please provide me in the comments. Thank you. That's it.